The best way to start your hydroponic journey is to start strong. And in this chapter, I will guide you toward the victory you are aiming for. In starting your hydroponic journey, it is very important to know which crop will give you a high success rate. To give some examples, we have basil, kale, bok choy, spinach, tomatoes, and cucumber. But for this course, we will focus on growing lettuce, which is the easiest crop to grow in any hydroponic system. With its rapid growth, low fertilizer and light needs, lettuce is an ideal vegetable to experiment with hydroponics. It's ideal for apartment gardening, indoor winter gardening, and getting even kids engaged in gardening. The first step to achieve that is to choose the right variety. Here we will answer the questions, what varieties are the best fit for hydroponics? How about the usage of grow lights? How long until the harvest? First, we have the salad bowl lettuce variety. It is a traditional oak leaf cultivar that grows quickly in hydroponics, containers, and in the ground. Salad bowl lettuce normally takes 50 days to mature, but with a hydroponic system, you might get your first harvest in less than 40 days. Salad bowl does particularly well in basic, non-circulating, cracky hydroponic systems. A perfect starting system for you. You can harvest them using the cut and come again approach, as with other loose leaf types, to optimize consistent yields from each plant. However, because it grows so fast, you may plant every two weeks and collect whole heads. Next, we have the Grand Rapids. This is also one of the fastest growing lettuce types available that you can harvest in 45 to 60 days. Another advantage of Grand Rapids is that it thrives in low light environments so you can grow them under less powerful fluorescent or lead grow lights. Now, let us go to Muir Lettuce. It is one of the most heat-tolerant cultivars. It is also resistant to teak burn, disease, and is ideal for hydroponics. Muir, like Grand Rapids, is a flowery, loose-leaf lettuce with good yield and teak burn resistance. Amazingly, it also possesses disease resistance against downy mildew and lettuce mosaic virus. Do not worry if you are not familiar with such terms. More of these will be discussed in the future chapters. These are just some easy recommendations, but know that you can always grow the specific variety or even the crops you want. As I mentioned a while back, you can also start with basil, bok choy, spinach, tomatoes, and cucumber. Your hydroponics journey is just starting, and I hope that this chapter tickles your mind on what crop or variety will you grow first. In the next chapter, we will dive deeper into the basic cracky setup. And that's it! Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts and join our vibrant community of growers by clicking on the links in the description box below. You can also check out our website at www.foodforest.club for more updates and info about our upcoming works and projects. Bye!